FH remains undiagnosed at 80 to 90 percent in every state of the union. Precision Public Health is about using the best available data to target more effectively and efficiently interventions of all kinds to those most in need. How much more we are understanding about the role of cholesterol and the role of genetics as drivers of heart disease. The same mutation, so you would say they're all FH patients, but actually when you look at their LDL levels, they're not identical. No one is identical. We have found to explain the heart disease impact of this, there is more understanding. And the impact of saying my child has a 90% blockage in his heart is both scary to say, but it's real. This event is, is very important to promote the knowledge about this disease. And we have to do more investigation, more research. I think it's good to break it down sometimes and think about where we can lose people at each step along the way. Of course, that also means that we can make improvements at each step along the way. I want to close with what I think is the ultimate modifier, which is treatment, which is what the foundation has done such a great job raising awareness and really trying to get to early identification and treatment of LDL cholesterol. I was super excited when we had everybody on the stage agreeing that, in fact, it's time to really redefine FH. I think more can be gained by actually having this conversation together so we understand how uh, the varying groups that are involved in thinking about prevention actually come at it. I want to congratulate the FH Foundation. It's really uphill work to get all society as well as politicians and healthcare providers to really recognize that this is indeed an inherited condition that needs to be taken seriously.